Hello, I'm playing Quest for Infamy. Earlier I posted a video about how the game had a lot of awkwardness to it, but it was kind of charming. And uh, the thing I really hated about it was that I went to choose a class, and I had to play this awful, awful game, which I'll show you here. Uh, since I posted that, a lot of people have let me know that... Uh, is there something I might have What I figured was an awful I thought you What I thought was an awful game is actually an awful puzzle. And it turns out that you can win. This is how you do it. First you take off your headset and walk away from your computer. You find some post-it notes or some shit, so here we are, we're testing our characters, um, our, our in-world avatar's intuition. We're testing it by writing down every single thing that we click on. So it is in fact a puzzle, and you can, uh, apparently, according to what I've heard, solve it in one swoop by just manually typing in... Boy, this is fun! I gotta say that I have never had so much fun uh, playing this game before. Oh, I didn't see the one on the far right because I was busy writing and it went away too fast. Well, that's better than the first time I tried when, uh, yeah, distract me some. Um, better than the first time I tried when it actually froze and crashed the game, or the second time I tried when it froze and crashed the game. Um, but, uh, the nature of yeah. God, I hate this. Why am I trying? I'm, 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 there's no particular reason to try and win, uh, because I already did win after a lot of tries. I finally got a lucky streak where the cards happen to line up. Um, but I trust that you can win by doing that. I trust that you can win by going outside of the game, getting resources that your character does not have, and using them to cheat. Either that's not so bad. If it was a puzzle where, conceivably, it was, you know, later on in the game and I was trying to break into a vault or something, and they had, for some reason, decided to put this memory game as the puzzle, I could have seen that happening, and, you know, I, I would have felt, okay, this is a puzzle I need to solve. And uh, that would be a much easier thing to identify as a puzzle if I'd actually ever played it enough to know that it was a puzzle. Um, I'd never played memory. It's like Towers of Hanoi. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with Towers of Hanoi because it's this arbitrary gate. It's this thing where if you have played it enough to know exactly how to play it, then you can win it immediately. But if you've never played it before, you're fucked. Or if you've played it before but never intensively enough to actually learn that there's an optimal solution, you're fucked. And I've seen plenty of, of player, you know, let's players uh, play games and run into the Tower of Hanoi problem and they get stuck on it and people are, you know, you're so stupid. It's, it's not stupidity, it's a gating issue. These puzzles are thrown into these games with the assumption that it's, uh, it makes you feel good because you already know the answer, you already know how to approach it. Um, but that's kind of assuming a lot. Either way, I wouldn't mind this so much if it was in a place where a puzzle should be. I am trying to choose a class. This is literally the first piece of open play I've had in the entire game. It's been half an hour of walk from person to person and uh, introduce yourself. You're forced to introduce yourself to A, B, C, D, and E. You're forced to go to this place. It actually rips you out of whatever you were doing and teleports you to an office uh, so that you can have your ch sit down chat. And then you get out and you're like, okay, I'm free to play. I want to choose a class. I'm going to be a sorcerer. And he's like, okay, well, here's some cards. And it's a puzzle to choose a class? Have you ever heard of that? Especially a puzzle where you have to stop playing the game, go find some paper, and solve it. Um, in short, this is a really bad design decision. I'm sorry that I didn't immediately realize that memory was a bad puzzle rather than a bad game. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that this game, these developers, put in a challenge that turned me from someone who is enjoying the game greatly to someone who doesn't like the game anymore. 
that's a bad call. It doesn't matter whether or not I should have known how to do it, or whether or not I should have been more patient. If you turn someone who likes the game into someone who dislikes the game, that is just flat out the worst thing you can do. That is the worst possible developer choice you can make. So, uh, now that I feel stupid for missing it, maybe I will continue on and do whatever he told me to do, kill a monster or whatever, but all of the um, enjoyment I was getting out of the game vanished when it decided that I needed to do something incredibly annoying as the very first thing I was allowed to do in the game. Yeah, that's it. Whether or not you care about this second video or not doesn't matter. Uh, I'll probably delete the first video just because it doesn't explain these things very clearly and it's just me ranting about how awful memory is. And it is. It's an awful game. Uh, sorry, puzzle. But, uh, anyhow. This game has a lot of flavor. It has a lot of charm. It's very awkward and very crashy. But it's awkward in a way that is... Uh, enjoyable. I mean, even if the jokes are very childish uh, and the art is scaled wrong and everyone has metallic phone voice, it's a very enjoyable game. Um, presumably, if you happen to have played all of the exact same puzzles that the developers played when they were kids, uh, it's probably an enjoyable game. So go ahead and uh, make your decision based on that, rather than based on me not knowing how to play memory. <laughs>